could have had a good life together. Fucking real good life. Had us a place of our own. I like to live a little. I like to drink a little. I like to smoke a little. guys welcome to Tuesday so how do you get more gay than truly get cotton candy truly this uh, by the way this brew review is sponsored by Matt does weigh in at 5% which anybody that wants to knock it I guess there's uh as you're sitting back tilting your uh, PBR or your bud, uh, this has more alcohol. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Lunch looks good. Okay. Oh, good, it's pink too. Another beautiful day. The microphone is sensitive enough. You should hear the uh, sub pump go off about every 20 seconds or so. Backyard's underwater, and uh, I had plans today to go take the motorcycle for a ride. Sorry, Duluth. Hmm. Gotta like autopilot. Okay, it does uh, smell like cotton candy. Cheers. I'll tell you how I'll tell you how how this week has started off. <sighs> Tastes like cotton candy. Uh, on the Forge of Mars, Poco says sitting here dropping two pints of blood. Good times. And, uh, and, and of course, uh, th this brew review that I'm reading the comments from uh, is the uh, 2016 Double Black. That was over at the Backup Channel because that was on Sunday. I didn't do a brew review yesterday because I had a poor attitude. Rich Huff being the first in um, says... Cheers, all. Cheers, Rich. Mike says cheers. Cheers, Mike. Uh, Poco says the opening was disturbing. Cheap old gun guy says you still have hope for a normal life. It's too late for me. Uh, Zeus says uh, laugh out loud. Poco says the cheap old gun guy. That, that might not be true. I find out on Tuesday. And EMT says, it looks like Miles and Eric made a baby. That was two days ago, so I don't even remember what intro I even used. Uh, Cobra says, Ram. That's like boom, but more expensive. Redneck Ramblin' says, Greens Captain, welcome to Monday and... Uh, then Redneck says, uh, hey, did you hear the news? Trump is still not in jail, despite all of the promises from the liberals. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, I'm actually surprised because, uh, after all, it, uh, we, uh, we have, uh, because of the liberals and the Democratic Party, we, we have turned into a third world country. Okay, we're going to time this off. Five. Ten. 
15, 20, guess I lied, 25, 30, 35, oh, 40, 45, 50 seconds, 55, 1 minute, 105, this is becoming less fun, 110, 115, minute 15 seconds, must be light, lightening up out there. my money I think you shouldn't buy any more vehicles you seem to have a curse selling the truck does it come with a seven psalm uh, for uh, um, 15,000 I would do that uh, he says 250,000 miles no low beams bad tire and runs on expensive diesel well I don't know how you can say expensive expensive diesel because uh, uh, in my neck of the woods diesel and unleaded are pretty close to the exact same price and uh, my truck uh, in the summer gets well it got it uh, it's it's not quite getting the mileage that the Subaru the Subaru I don't the Subaru seems to go the opposite of a normal vehicle for me um drive it in the city drive it like you stole it and right now it shows 21.4 miles per gallon and going to moose lake on the freeway at 70 miles an hour when i got there i was at 20.1 miles per gallon okay that did not seem like a minute th that time mocking me I would easily buy my truck again I mean I I've never owned any other vehicle that didn't have to have stuff done on it Subaru has half the amount of stuff uh, ha has half the amount of miles on it than the truck and uh, it got front uh, it got front uh, uh, axles and uh, a brake job all the way around exactly the same as the truck and uh, the Subaru needs a, uh, a head job, which if it wasn't for the fact that my daughter is a mechanic and specializes in Subarus, smile money, you already know that that would be $3,200, which would then bring the car up to the same price I paid for the truck with a Boss V-Plow. I mean, you can, argue, you can argue vehicles all you want. The bottom line is, is sometimes you luck out, and sometimes I don't. <laughs> nice nipples! Tom says, uh, will Michelob Matt ever make a guest appearance? Um, I guess if there's an opportunity, it will be on Thursday, because uh, Thursday... Me and him will be taking said truck uh, to an undisclosed location to drop the plow off so that I won't have the plow hanging on the uh, front of the truck anymore. Well, technically it's not hanging on the front of the truck right now because for the last uh, month plus uh, the truck has been uh, sitting with the plow on the ground. I identify as a milk drinker. My money. Stopping the shakes with scotch. As alcohol leaves the body of a heavy drinker, the brain is flooded with more activity. 
nervous system becomes hyperactive and you may experience alcohol tremors or shakes. The shakes can happen as quickly as eight hours after your last drink. Yeah, no, it's um You can say you can say all you want, but um no, it's um for me, um can shit. Those look pretty fulfilled with their arms over her head. Um, for me, um, I always say this. Let's experiment today and just not have any coffee. But so far that hasn't worked out on my behalf. Nor has the go getting some decaf and giving that a try. I'm just trying to use up that stuff that we just bought. <coughs> oh, God. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, that's that smelt like uh, McLean's butthole. Hey, speaking of McLean, so I've been um, like a twelve. I have been cleaning. I started with those shelves, and I work. I know this doesn't really look like it because not much has really changed. I'm kind of at a point where the problem is is I don't really have anything I want to get rid of. I mean. This is just memorabilia stuff, and you can't really see much of what's going on over there anyway. Because if I actually train the camera more over there, you know, maybe if I, if I relocated... Ooh, that would be bad. If I relocated the camera more this way, I have to get out past the gas pipe. Otherwise, the annoying gas pipe is in the way. So, either way, I got the, uh, you know, I got the picture of, uh, I got... I got the I got the Sam graduation picture that the person taking the picture was happy to take a use. Uh, but uh, the school, you know, how things have changed. There's my Sammy Poo holding the Desert Eagle. Actually, when I graduated, several people that I know of uh, had pictures of them holding their uh, their deer rifles. Because uh, back then, the world wasn't filled full of fucking pussy liberals. Oh, I'm woke, and my soup's too hot. Fucking, get rid of them all. That'd be the best thing, is if we rid, if we could rid the world of liberals, can you imagine what a glorious place that we would have? I know, I'd sleep like a baby. Um, yeah, I got, you know, this kind of, this, this kind of, this whole area is kind of like my past. I got the, uh, I got the, um, steam engine that, uh, that I would, uh, go over to my grandfather's and he'd fill with water and it would run and it's got the train whistle, the Millennium Cup, Shelby's Bowl, um, picture of Jack from uh, Mr. Holster. Um, a rock. It's actually a very cool rock. Uh, my dragon. Uh, uh, actual authentic uh, toy from my past. Driven by Scooby-Doo. Uh, I got my, uh, I got my uh, very, uh, very, very nice picture of uh, uh, William uh, Shatner and Leonard Nimoy, and it's uh, uh, authentic and everything that I got from Cobra. Uh, the picture of uh, of Alice, the uh, the handmade uh, Marvin the Marf Martian that uh, Tardisius uh, made for me in like I don't know what the hell that is, 2008 maybe. Uh, the one that Charlie hand drew for me. Uh, we got a little, little something from Mike back here. Uh, of course, the flag. Uh, yeah, you know, a little piece of America. Matt's balls. But, you know, let's... What was it? Uh, what was this cheap old gun guy? I don't remember. I'm drawing a, drawing a blank. Apologize. Um... So, you know, either way, 
clean this whole area. I've just thrown, been throwing shit in the fucking garbage. Just If I haven't used it up to this point in time, off it goes. Then I went through the gun room, went through, yeah, be like right here going, yeah, looking good, lower it, bring it down, bring it down. Um, went through the cupboard, completely redid the cupboards and changed everything that was in there. Found a bunch of shit. Uh, my my pile of pile of stuff uh, going to a couple of you has uh, gone up quite a bit. Um, on top of the uh, move some ammo cans out onto the top of the little safe. Everything that was on the back of the little safe, of course, that really got thinned out. Um, top of the safe has all been uh, cleaned and cleared and restacked. Uh, went through uh, all of the drawers under the uh, loading bench. Uh, the top of the loading bench has almost nothing on it right now. Uh, again, went through the cupboards, threw a shitload of stuff, reorganized a bunch of stuff. Uh, through here, um, I mean, it was just mainly alcohol. And, you know, we don't want to throw any of that away. Ah, uh, went through both the fixed knife uh, drawer or uh, can and the uh, folding knife can. Actually, swapped them around so each of each of them fits uh, as they should. Uh, started. I have three big bins of uh, of crate club and battle box stuff, and uh, I made it that far. I pulled everything out. And I did exactly what I said the last time we met. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pile of stuff that I absolutely want to keep for myself. Which means that stuff that I am actually going to use. You know, once again I need to go through, uh, I have a bug out, a second bug out bag. And a, uh, an actual shit hits the fan sort of like camping in other words, one of them is set up so that it has like emergency stuff. I can break into places, I can turn outside water spigots on, and the other one has like pots and pan oh so and the one that with the water spigot and shit like that has like a crank uh a, a crank style uh emergency radio and flashlights and all that shit. The other one is mainly about being able to uh uh, heat and make food that kind of shit, but it's been so long since I've been through either one of those I I need to just open them up and go through them I also would save a lot of space because like for instance the emergency radio is still in the box So that's a waste of space um, You know just you know It's still in the box because as of when I put the pack together. I guess I just hadn't committed to keeping it so at this point in time, I guess if it turns out that I, I want to give something away that's in those packs, oh well, I guess you're just going to get it without the original, the original box. But either way, over the last couple of days, um, yesterday, um, got a bunch of stuff done in the morning. I, uh, I had that uh, phone interview at, uh, supposed to be at 1240. Uh, I was rushing... Uh, uh, went and helped Matt pick up a wood-burning stove. Got a really nice, authentic uh, uh, cast iron wood-burning uh, stove that was uh, one of those just come and get it and you can have it for free. Well, Matt Matt struck gold on that. That was a, a serious no-brainer. And then Matt's doing what, what I think is pretty cool. He's actually going to try to bring it completely back to uh, looking authentic and original. And uh, then I rushed and ran some errands, got some food, got home 15 minutes before the supposed phone call was going to happen at 12.40. And then uh, 12.40 hits, and I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, not to judge a company that I'm trying to get to hire me, but um, the closer they are to 12.40, the, the more in my brain, because... You know, you, generally if I say I'm going to be there at 1 o'clock, I'm there at 12.50. So, 12.40 comes and goes. 12.45, 12.50, 12.55. Now we're even outside the realm of what they said. Expect a call between 12.40 and 12.50. 
at like 12.10, I, I decided to check an email making sure that I wasn't supposed to call them. Don't see anything unusual. I'm like, what the hell? And then uh, I, I uh, like sat there for a couple seconds and I went back in and I noticed there was a new email saying that appointment had been canceled. Oh, now I have just moved from being a little stressed out to, to have, I mean, I haven't had a job interview since 1985 when I worked for fucking Target. Every job I've ever had since Target has been my reputation preceded me. They pursued me. I want him to work for me. Sure, okay, you know, sit down with someone uh, and uh, basically just do the official stuff and and hand stuff. As I'm handing the resume to them, or not even a resume, as I'm filling out the whatever's required from whatever company, they're already looking at the schedule, going, "Yeah, like a twelve. Could you start on Tuesday?" That kind of thing. So I have never had a resume. Never needed one. I'm like. Motherfucker! It's like canceled. Why? So I call, or I I check my e as I'm getting ready to call. I check my email, and it says that the appointment was canceled. So now I'm like, I call, I call this DBS, and it's like, why in the hell was my appointment canceled? Well, so and so that you were that you had your interview with, uh, uh, she's uh, she's busy at the moment. Um, I'll take a. Take your information and ha and we'll figure it out. This is weird. Yeah. So, like three hours later, I get an email that says um, uh, from her that says you canceled the appointment. The fuck I did. So, no idea. But um, I'm going with divine intervention. I heard that the company sucks. That every single, um, every single, every single uh, possible scenario that you could get hired for this company, they're looking for people right now. And what is the, she looks like she's got two, two turtles on her titties. What is the normal reason a company has an opening in every single division that they have? Because they suck. So, I... And, uh, I, I just emailed her back. I said, I didn't cancel the, uh, the interview. Why would I do that? Never heard back. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to, no, not fuck them. Absolutely fuck them. So uh, yesterday I, I came down here and I was like, I'm just going to do a brewery review and try to forget about how this day is going. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I was I was about as fucking pissed off as possible. So I didn't even waste my time or your time trying to do a fucking cheery video yesterday. Those would cheer me up. Little MILF. And being all professional, Matt gave me two of these. Just so I could give my own second opinion. So I'm honey, a YouTuber that doesn't film interesting activities. You had your phone, you could have at least did a short. Cheapo Gun Guy says, uh, don't mention short. He's kind of sensitive about this. Snubby, I don't want to see him cry again. So, honey, you loved your Toyota until you started driving sideways down the road with a, a wobbly frame. Actually, I didn't even know that the frame was broken until I was standing and looking at it one day going, how come, how come it's no longer sitting flat? Oh, it's because the frame is broken and uh, it did that. Still drove okay. 
Uh, J Dog here at work. J Dog double black aged up to 12 months in assorted barrels. Yeah, I don't know what they uh, what they did so wrong with 2016. Oh, let's see. In the process of cleaning, boy, this goes back. I don't even know why I hung on to this, but I've got, um, uh, I found, uh, I found the, uh, little thing from, uh, from, that I got from a Klein. Uh, there wasn't a date on here. It says, hey Eric, uh, I wanted to send you these things as a thank you for all your videos over the years. The flashlight is an actual model used by the LAPD. I got this from a friend who's on the LAPD. It came directly from Pelican uh, Company store. I have the same light in an older model and it's the best flashlight I have. And I have many. I would, uh, it would work great for your job or around the house or both. But you're free to do with it whatever you want. Give away, or donate it, or whatever. The other items are self-explanatory. McLean, fifty-one seventy-nine. So, I. This is what he looked like. I don't know how long ago this was, but this was very disturbing. So, still use the flashlight it's sitting upstairs. Uh, it sits upstairs on the uh, desk right by the back door. Mm, speaking of back doors. Cold-hearted bastard, two thumbs up and two shots. And in perfect unison, multi-gunman says, whiskey. Mr. 27 says, no, this is a brew channel. And then he says, no, this is a whiskey channel. And then he says, ask the master of the brew channel, Mr. Brew Bomi. <laughs> oh, well... It is kind of a gray area if if you think about it. And I am thinking about it. Um yeah, I'm just, you know, trying to go through here and get rid of some of the age stuff and uh and maybe have something good like some uh Paul John. With grandpa. Nice nipilli eye. Matt Davis says, yep. Cheap old gun guy says, uh, I know why. It's a uh, man alone laughs. He alone suffers so badly that he had to invent laughter. Ha 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 ha. On the other side of the coin, though, um, I, in the last, uh, in the last day, I have, uh, applied for four more jobs, all of them uh, uh, doing uh, general maintenance for, uh, large companies in the area, 
Except for one, it's actually uh, a veterinary a veterinary clinic. But the one I am most the most interested in is the manager of the Super One liquor store. I believe, it, uh, and I believe it is the one just down the street from my house. Hey, as of right now, I've probably had a quarter of everything in the building. McCline, Eric, should I shit or go blind? Well, if it's anything like the one I took this morning, both almost became possible. And call a plumber, you can add that in there too. McLean, Eric, fire Matt, hire me. I'll make you happy. That's questionable. <clears throat> McLean, Eric, can I please get a dat ass eating segment on the show? I've got so much to say. It's my obsession. I must understand it. McLean, Desire is the root of all suffering, Eric. Eric. Some guy once said that. Jolson, we need more cowbell. Then Jolson says, my construction career is not going well. Stepped on a nail pretty hard. Tomorrow money says to him, that's not how to keep your shoes on. Hope your tendonitis shot is up to date. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna lead with a ten. Wade, cheer up. It's always darkest before the dawn. At least you're not on the corner with a sign that says $20 is $20. Close. Close to it. Oh. And like that, if this was NASCAR, I just noticed I'm rounding turn three, heading to, uh, heading to the finish line with 32 minutes in. And why did I have to go look to see what the real time was? Because Sharky says, Cheers all, lots of catching up uh, for me. Just starting with the latest one, Handball. What's, what is this on? Well, this is on Double Black. I was wondering, I was going to ask, does someone smell salmon? Uh... It's always darkest before the dawn. At least you're not on the corner with that... Oh, well, sorry, I read that one. Yeah. Um, Wade, you'd be surprised at this very moment in time how much 20 bucks would help. Sharky, cheers all, let's get some shit. Starting with the latest one, handball got in the way twice, practice, and a match. The girls uh, slaughtered the opposition 2-31. to 31. Game was even stopped five minutes early due to rain. And then it's also birthday season over here. Three birthday parties, three days in a row. It's a hard life. Didn't shoot that? Here we go. And uh, he didn't shoot that either. I see I gotta, it's been a while, I gotta give it a uh, some love. This happens to be the uh, Marlin 22 that I got from my grandfather. And I taught Samantha, Lily, and Lorana how to shoot a rifle with that rifle. It's almost a damn shame that because liberals, and they should all be put to sleep, um, have so destroyed. It's like, I mean, isn't that the goal, though? Just, just villitize something. 
continuously villitize it. I mean, I was wondering when that was going to totally be tried until the nth degree for firearms, just watching how they did it with smoking. Now, I am not justifying it. Do I like having an American spirit every now and then? Yes. Do I like having a high-end, tasty cigar like a, like a Macanudo or an Opus or just about anything from Punch or a Terra Fuente? Fuck yeah! Is it a surprise to me that smoking is bad for you and cause and could cause cancer? No, not at all. Because you're a goddamn idiot if you don't already know that. I mean, look at some of the directions on boxes. Somebody, was it in our group or just on Fagbook that I saw this, that on the inside flap, you've already got your box open. It said open box before eating. I mean, it's because of liberals that we need to have information like that, because the typical liberal is a complete fucking moron. Speaking of that, uh, touche, Christine. Uh, coming back from shooting on Sunday, I think I told the story, wearing my liberalism um, find the cure shirt and we're at the food co-op which is pretty much uh, operated uh, you know most of it looks like a nine walking around inside there wearing that shirt and I was like oh my god Then, then I just stopped and went, you know what? I mean, we're a member now of the co-op. You get a discount, and uh, which I think you're, I'm actually an owner. I'm part owner in the co-op now, which means the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that fucking sign taken down about the firearms. Matt from, Matt from over there, I mean... I don't, I don't really care. I mean, it's, again, just like the conversation that I had with my doctor. Exactly what is the typical business thinking that they're doing? Is, if something goes down inside of a business, and I'm in there, after I walk past the stupid fucking retard sign that says, Guns are banned on the premises. <laughs> Just like my doctor said, Eric, I don't have a problem with it at all. Because I know, because it's it happened out in California. A fucking nut job. Turned out they were a liberal, which is actually ironic, isn't it? Came into a... Um, a hospital scenario with uh, patients and doctors and with an AK-47 and started shooting the place up. Well, like my doctor said, if you're here, I know you're going to do everything you can to make sure me and my staff goes home alive. Damn right. I don't know. It's got to be more of the deranged uh, liberal mentality to think that. What? What do you think? What? What do you fucking? Th I'd like to know what these douchebags actually think. What is it that you think is happening? That. Oh, I as I come to the door with my full auto uh, AK or M16, I'm gonna read the sign and go. Oh, I was going to go in and shoot the place up, but they've got a sign. I'm just going to go home. Damn. I guess I'll head over to fucking Target. Just typical liberal mentality. Guess what? A good guy with a gun is going to do everything he can to make sure that the bad guy with the gun doesn't hurt anybody. You're welcome. Hey, and on a complete side note... I realize that I think this has been out now, David, don't listen to this, at least four times 
uh, out at the range uh, since it's been cleaned and I decided to clean it and I was having a, a moment of malfunction and I couldn't uh, I couldn't remember I couldn't remember where the slide needs to be in order to get the uh, button to press and it turns out that it's literally just kind of just kind of like right there there's no notches like uh, a lot of a lot of uh, what would that be um, you know you know the thing uh, where they've just got two little dots that line up. No, no, there's nothing like that. You just start to pull back until it starts to come out and it's captured and then you just pull it out all the way and uh, it's yours. I don't need to take it apart at this point in time though. I'm going to put it back together. There. Um, I learned something I didn't know um, because because I could not remember exactly where the slide needed to be you know originally I was like um, is it here no it's not so yeah it's just literally like a like a Glock you just give it a little squeeze back and the uh, self-captured pin uh, comes right out um, but because I did that and I was watching um, Ethan at uh, Forgotten Weapons. Do you know that the Megastar um, has a completely removable fire uh, control group? And there's no pins or special tools to do it. If you look right inside, there you go, uh, sort of, how do I, I gotta get the right, there you go. See that little button inside the uh, back of the magwell where like the mainspring housing, uh, well it is where the mainspring housing is. If you take a wooden dowel and push it and hold it, the entire fire control group lifts up and out of the pistol was like wow no no pins to remove no tools no parts go flying the only thing that you need to do is one titties is when you put it back together you uh, the slides not the slides not on when this is happening but you need to hold it at about this angle and you are literally everything you see right here from this down comes out with the lanyard and the fire control the hammer and everything but when you put it back together lean it over because there's one one bar that connects with and of course it's it has this and no I yes I, I know how to circumvent it but it's never gonna happen because it's not as simple as jiggling jiggling apart and this gun will stay in its stock configuration but yeah David it's, it's nice and oily because because I clean the fuck out of it gee see David everything's all nice and shiny in there the lighting is bad so at least you can't scrutinize but yeah it's just like a, like a SIG uh, you can you can take the fire control group up and out of it make sure that you can you can clean a higher level of cleaning and uh, just you know for for an older for an older firearm the nine and a half um, ten I changed my mind the the technology and everything involved then again, um, I think I showed you guys. Compare the barrel on the new Smith and Wesson uh, 10 millimeter in comparison to this barrel. Megastar 
they go, oh, well, uh, DeWalt, uh, uh, DeWalt, uh, DeWalt's cracking their frames, and, uh, uh, hold my, hold my beer and watch this, yeah, um, the last couple of days I've been, uh, spending more time with, uh, Ed, I still have not shot this, um, I know Ed did, but I have not. Actually, technically, this would be Ed's gun, but it was because of uh, my beloved Jules that I have it. And I know... Believe it or not, I uh, I did not actually do that with this one. Uh, this is uh, evidently, uh, if it's such a great feature to have, which I've been told, oh, if if they get your gun and you drop the mag, it can't be shot. Well, uh, the uh, law enforcement, law enforcement didn't want that. 1070 the 1076 FBI is uh, also like this by the way Barnes if you want to actually have a, uh, a round that uh, truly has some really nice uh, expansion Barnes um, I did I did sort of smile money this actually me and Nihap smile money this uh, by putting uh, this hammer in here because uh, this is actually supposed to be bobbed. Which I could prove that by going and grabbing a northern storage item and proving it. But uh, but yeah, me and, uh, me and Ed have been uh, uh, chilling together. Sharky, uh, we don't get many U.S. Uh, pickup trucks over here, but seven out of ten times I see one. It's a Dodge uh, Ram. The the three others are F-150s. Sharky, one hour, twenty-two minutes, twenty-five seconds. Hey, is that Brad's girl? Uh, before the boob job? If so, so much more cute back before plastics. Oof. Um, nine. I like I I Uh, yes, that is... I, I'm sorry. I can't interrupt this for Brad's girl. Sorry, Brad. Um, here, I guess I can just get out of the way. Yeah, Brad's Brad's girl had was uh was uh tiny was uh TC tiny tiny chested, and then I, I don't know what she, well, she's like a B now. I mean, good God, if she actually had C sized tits, uh, her actual weight would uh, would would double. Sharky SH, it's been a while since I've uh, been able to say that. Cheers to Eric. Copri outro. I don't remember even what I used for the outro. And somehow people after him, Mr. Twenty Seven says thirty six. Then he says, uh, uh, "Me a salty man." And oh, and then EMT says. I called B9 yesterday, but it looks like the basement dwellers tried to steal it from me again. Oh well, I'll try again today since you didn't do a review. Toot toot. B9 is a hit. He says toot toot. Mm. 
nine and a half. Okay. Yeah, she evidently has some electro elect, electro problems uh, with her titties. Jolson wanting to know what kind of coffee I like. I like my coffee like I like my women. Black and full of booze. Ten. Uh, see, these, I'm sorry, these hard seltzer drinks are just truly not for me, but it's, it's, it's five percent, I guess. You could, you probably pour this in your water bottle and bring it to work, something I don't recommend. <coughs> Hey, the food co-op is also hiring. Wouldn't that be funny? Find out that uh, an actual conservative, true American that believes in the Constitution could be the manager of the facility. First thing I'd do is I'd tear that fucking sign off of the goddamn building. Look, it's Christine's car. I mean, I wouldn't say no, but... The amount of money that it would take to buy this car, I could have, Jesus, I could, well, actually, depending on what model that is, you could have, uh, you could have, uh, what, 10 Lamborghinis? Come on, man. Come on, man. Hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd go like a nine and a half. Uh, not for that. Not for this. Uh, for this, I'd I'd give it a on the non E scale. I uh, the the special one. You know the liberal one, the the one where you have, you uh, um yeah you, the a participation trophy. I would uh, I would give this a seven. And this is what I recommend.
Gotta have something for the club. Um, 14. That's like walking Viagra. J Dogs here at work. A day ago. A day ago. How oh, the fuck? What? Why would this not have been in the list that I fired up an hour ago? A day ago? I, I, I don't know. No. Mr. 27 says Brew Bomi Brew Club time. Mama. Rich Huff says cheers clubbers. Cheers Rich. And Jolson, two, two hearted sunny slopes club needs more cowbell. Oh, you think so? Gosh, I hope I don't forget to bring that when I go down to your place next week. Just like I did when I went to Jeremy's. Right now, Jolson's on Amazon. Come on, come on, what's the fastest I can get this shit? Okay. That's it. Lights green. Traps clean. I got something you can carve. Check it one more time, then we're out of here. Okay. Cheers. It's tomorrow. Wetness day? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm starting my new job. <laughs>